December 30 here in San Clemente at the pier. Post Ignorance Project about to attend the Keep the Casks Off the Beach Rally the Community Center, the Civic Center. One must ask the question, is the body politic of America a patient etherized on a table? Does it need to have a whip cracked in order to wake it up to the reality unfolding beneath its feet? Crack that whip. Stay in tune. And this is just a poem unto itself, the meaning of which I'll allow you to bring and add yourself. You hear the old Del Monte? It's going by right now. It's about to go by. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So this is the turnout. Good morning, one and all. These fantastic placards here. Hi. I like the way you check, though. It's between my legs. What? He's the only one fighting for us. Do you know that? And then you know, sure enough, all the sheep. Yeah, agree. Yeah. Chernobyl in a can. Yes, we can. Chernobyl in a can. <laughs> huh? Our thing, our thing is, I'm with the Post Ignorance Project, our thing is crack that whip, W-I-P-P, -P, in New Mexico. Because that's where they're sending it, maybe already. You know. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what that's what we think. Oh, okay. So that's or Nevada, too, or no? Or, just, mm, uh, New Mexico? Could, could, San Diego Peak. Hey, baby. There it is. There he is. Like the man. So we're here with the field office. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do some recordation, some witnessing. All right. Talk yeah, to I some people. I recognize you from the videos. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw you earlier. But I was here way oh. early, and I ran down to the pier. I just got here. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, San Diego Pete here with us. Hey. Stay in tune. That's right. Talking about uh, trying to get a peek at the casks at the uh, the operation, whatever the clandestine or otherwise operation they got going. Yeah, Kevin did get, get we got a, key, a peek at where they're supposed to be putting them. Right. Sure, right, which is just north of the the staging area. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, so God knows what they're really up to, though. I mean, that's. Well, yeah, you know, and, and you know, Kevin, from you know, from what he's told me is that uh, his people in New Mexico say that there are shipments coming in from the west already. So. Exactly. But does that mean that they're moving the shit out of here already? I don't know. Right, or just where it's going and the route it's taking or right. its ultimate destination. Right. We think WHIP. I mean, well, WHIP is the only place. Yeah, it's the only right place. Now, so, right. I mean, yeah. unless, unless they blow a hole in, with a nuke somewhere else and dig it in. <laughs> dig it under. There is yucca. There is yucca. There is yucca. There is supposedly limitless space to shoot it into, which was right. kind of successful, the last effort. So here we are. There's over 50 people here. I would say 50 plus, and it's it's quite a, quite a nice turnout. But everybody's worried about their communities, and I mean that's we got to get them worried about the big picture. That's my well, thing. Well, yeah, right? in this community in particular, yeah. because it's the closest group of uh, human beings next to. The that's right. Land. I mean, we're standing right next to it in essence. Yeah. So, essentially. Yeah, we're only six miles north. That's right. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing. Stones throw in a in decaying isotope uh, uh, measurement. Right. <laughs> I can feel the canvas right now. I'm telling you, can't you? I mean, it's, it feels like it, though. It's so hot. Oh, my God. Wave action today, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, anyone who wants to dress up in the latest hazmat beach square. Uh, <laughs> De rigueur. De rigueur, man. Yeah. De kind. Look at it. Yeah. I mean, 
See, it's I'm accessorized. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're and fully messy. accessorized. Yeah. Don't step on a dry cask, though. Avoid the dry cask. <laughs> Uh, the dry casts are better than Good luck on that. Pools, you know what I mean? Yeah, the fool pools. The Man, those are rough, ain't they? Looking very good. Stylish beyond belief. Putting us all to shame, that's for sure. Panoramic scan of the crowd. I don't have a drone, but I've got a long arm. So. <laughs> very nice. Okay. Sure they do. Let's see, what else? Um, it's, it's interesting how many, how many people around here are, are starting to talk up Yucca Mountain, when just a few years ago that name was anathema. In the, in the last month, uh, people have asked me, why don't we just move away from Yucca Mountain? There's a tremendous amount of confusion here about Yucca Mountain. The tunnel that we've all heard about, that people assume is the repository, was the, was the research laboratory for studying the hydrogeology of the mountain. In 2010, when Yucca Mountain was shut down, Nevada has repeatedly promised that that repository will never be constructed. So I think we best believe it. The bottom line is that this settlement agreement has solved nothing. The bottom line is that the people of Southern California cannot relax because it's all going to be taken care of. Edison is now conducting dress rehearsals to move this waste onto the beach. If there was ever a time for citizens to speak up, to protest, to march, to call or write their representatives at the state and national level, to call or write the governor's office, and to let the NRC know that as long as that waste is sitting on the beach at San Onofre, they've got a big problem and they need to solve it. 